In last week's video, you guys may have seen me install the new headlights on my truck and I talked about getting a new grill. I went ahead and purchased this one. I found it on eBay. We're gonna get that put on my 2005 Tundra today. Now this grill is just an aftermarket replacement. Found it on eBay, I believe it was right around $200 and found it on a couple of random websites online also, but I like the way it looks. It has this grill which we're just gonna screw in. Looks like it has the mounting provisions already with the extra screws. It has these four lights which you can add if you want to or if you don't want to and then it comes with the wiring harness and all the hardware. Let's go ahead and get this thing put together and see if we can get it mounted on the truck today. First removing the old grill looks pretty easy. Looks like there's just a handful of 10 millimeter nuts. One, two, missing the third, four, five, six 10 millimeter nuts and I think it should come off. I think the hood latch is also part of the grill so we're gonna need to remove this also and we're gonna check the new one see if it has a provisions for mounting this bracket onto the new grill. So on the back of the new grill it does have the two brackets here and the mounting holes. So what we're gonna do is this little clip here, I'll show it to you. See if you can get a little better look. It has a little black piece on it that, let me see if I can pry it off. Just like that. You pull that off and then you slide that right out. So if you see right here, it's this little black. Let me see if I can get to focus on this. It's this little black clip here that slides off the metal bar and then we can leave it on there and then I'll worry about installing this when I have the grill on the ground. So I'm gonna remove all the 10 millimeter uh, nuts and get this grill pulled off. And here's a look at the grill completely finished up. In the last clip I was just showing you, I was putting the hardware back on and it's essentially, it's exactly the same. It comes with the included studs. You put those back on and then put the nuts back onto the grill and that holds it into place. I did, let me show you what I did with my wiring. Now for my wiring, like, you know, most trucks have their grill down here. You can just wire somewhere. This one we kind of have to feed, so I fed it up here, used a couple of zip ties, fed it under my wind deflector, went under the hood here so keep it up, and then I fed it into the hood down to here, and then what I did, I put it underneath the fender, I took the bolts up, had it come right here, and I, unfortunately you can't see it, I wired it up to this light because I want these bulbs to be on all the time when I have the vehicle on and I always drive with my headlights on no matter what in any car. I just like to do that for safety. But that's what I did with my wiring. I don't know if I'll probably gonna leave it. I don't think there's any reason for it to be moved around. I like what it like it. It's still relatively clean, fits where it's at, it's out of the way here, and it'll work in conjunction with that. Let me go ahead and shut it. Everything seemed to work fine with the mount, putting it back onto my uh, hood latch. It's a little more flimsy than the other one, so 
I'm always trying to lift it with the hood itself now. Like I'll unlatch it and lift it there just to avoid putting any pressure on it. Is it shut all the way? Let me turn my lights on. I'll get you a look at that. So there's a look with those LED lights now working. I think it looks fantastic. Along with those new headlights I installed last week. I really like the way that this grill turned out. And just the evolution of my truck trying to get it looking a little bit different than what I wanted. This looks awesome. I think it's a great upgrade if you're considering buying one. Now mine of course isn't perfect. It doesn't line up super clean there. Same with here. Not really too worried about that. This is essentially a work truck for me. Using it to get the job done towing and just picking up and getting rid of parts, but I think it looks super cool. And I love driving it, the truck is super comfortable. And then another reason why I wanted to put it on that is because if you do want to turn your headlights off, these will still stay on regardless of whether or not your headlights, headlight beams are on or not. And so that'll wrap it up guys. Hope you enjoyed another portion of me working on the Tundra a little bit. I will try to link this down there in the description if I can remember where I found it. If not, I'll just put some other ones. It may not be the exact same seller, but I'll link the grill up in there. If you're interested, you can click on that link in the description. Thanks for watching, guys. We will see you soon.